What's up my dude? Welcome to another guitar tutorial with your friend Melodic Hills. Today's guitar tutorial was requested by my good friend Nathan Brown. Thank you so much my dude. You're so active on this channel. I had to do this tutorial for you and I'm pretty sure that the community and everybody's going to benefit from this one. So guys, make sure to put down in the comments as many songs as possible. I go down the list, check them out and the ones that really fit the channel go to the top and get a shout out just like that. Alrighty, let's get started with this tutorial. But before we get started, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing if you find value to this video, okay? So don't subscribe yet. Make sure that you get something out of it first because you're gonna notice that if you get something out of it this time, you're gonna get something out of it in the future as well, right? Alrighty, let's get started. Alrighty, my good friend, let's get started with this tutorial by getting into the proper tuning. We're going to start from the top string. We're going to have E, A, D, G, B, E. No capo, but we do have some bar chords. So let's make sure that if you need help with bar chords, click on this card right here. It'll show you a whole bunch of bar chords in five minutes, and then come back to this tutorial, and it's going to make it a little easier on you. The chords for this song are actually very basic, very simple, but they did a really good job at getting the most out of them. We're going to have a total of three chords. Now we're going to have a C sharp minor. So it's going to be the minor shape on the fifth string, and it's going to be on the fourth fret. We're going to have open position for an E major. And then we're going to have an A major, major shape on the sixth string making sure that we have all the fingers on the proper position. But this one right here is optional, although I do recommend that if you're a beginner, you challenge yourself and you get that A on the bar chord, you can play it on an open position right here. It does sound a little bit different because you have the octave down here. And here you have, okay? Alrighty, but use it. So you have C sharp minor, E major and A major as a bar chord or open position, your choice. The first portion of the song is going to be your intro. It's going to have two chords with one short rhythm. It's going to be the C sharp minor shape and the E major shape, okay? The rhythm for this one is going to go, I'm, play, I'm going to play it slow motion first, down, pause, down, up, pause, up. Okay, make sure to write that down and practice, practice this pretty slow and then, you know, start giving it speed. Okay, and then you do the same thing for the E. Down, pause. Down, up, pause. Up, okay. Down, pause. Down, up, pause. Up, okay. And we're going to repeat that a total of four times before we jump into the verse. Let's do the verse. For the verse, we're going to have exactly the same two chords. It's going to be a C sharp minor, and we're going to have an E major chord on the open position, okay? Now the rhythm is going to be a little bit different. It's going to go slow motion, down, pause, up, up, pause, up, down, pause, up, up, pause and then when you do up on the last one again it's going to go to the next one so the rhythm is the same thing twice it goes down pause up up pause up and that's where it stops but then you repeat it again by going down pause up down So notice it's a little bit longer than the rhythm for the intro, right? Alrighty, so one last time. Now, after you play the last repetition on the verse that goes from C sharp to E and, you know, you're about to go into the chorus, the last E or E major shape that you play is going to be a total of eight strums down. And then it hops into 
the chorus. So we're going to hop into the chorus now, but remember, you're going to have. You repeat this four times, and on the fourth try, you're going to go. Let's hop into the chorus. For the chorus, we're going to have again two chords. This is when the A major takes place. Now you can play it as a bar chord. I re recommend and highly recommend that if you're a beginner, you push yourself. I know it kind of sucks at the very beginning, but once you master these shapes, they just belong everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like it's exactly the same shape everywhere on the guitar. So make sure to master that right there. But if it's still a little bit too difficult, make sure to play it with the open position right there and then transition to the E right there right next to it okay recommend it alternate all right let's get started with the rhythm the rhythm for this right here is going to go down down up up down up and no pauses no little taps no pausing the strings just that's it down down up up down up down down up up down up down down up up down up and then we speed it up okay so those are all the parts for the song and then they go back to the top which is second verse second chorus and then the outro is an alternate between what would be the verse and the chorus those chords are you're just going to hit hear them go back and forth another thing that i want to point out is i know that you heard that my, my guitar sounds clean but it has a little bit of a what do you call it a little bit of a crunch over it i just cranked up the drive on it over a clean sound so it sounds a little bit more like the original song see that's why it sounds like that. Alrighty, so to put it all together. Alrighty, my good friend, I really appreciate your time. I hope that this video really helped you put this song together, all right? I'm pretty sure it did. It's very simple, but it's one of those really good songs for beginners, right? And also, when you listen to it, it's a really nice song, so enjoy it. Play along with it. I'm going to put the original song that I used to learn this song down in the description, but also I'm going to add a couple of extra sources that you can use to you know help you with the bar chords help you with rhythm and just a few things down there in the description so make sure to check it out alrighty my friends catch you on the next one don't forget to subscribe catch you later